Okay, now we have some work some problems where uh, we actually have two radicals. And so this is a very interesting situation. But this is actually the easier of the situations that you'll be um, encountering in this section. Literally here, even though we have a bunch of stuff going on inside this, we literally have a square root equal to a square root. So let's undo those square roots. The opposite of that would be to square both sides. So in doing so, the squaring undoes the square roots. So we really have x plus 9 equals 2x plus 5. Now this is a simple linear equation now that we can solve. We can subtract x from both sides. So 2x minus x would be x equals, now we can subtract 5 from both sides to move it to the left, 9 minus 5 would be 4. So our answer here hopefully is a 4, but we do need to check. So the square root of 4 plus 9 should equal the square root of 2 times 4 plus 5. Okay, 4 plus 9 would be 13. And that's not a pretty square root, but that's okay. And here we have 2 times 4 would be 8, plus 5 is 13. So that is a true statement, therefore 4 is our answer. Now it doesn't matter whether we're working with square roots or cube roots or whatever, the concept is still the same. Here we have basically a root equal to a root. So let's undo those. The opposite of the cube root would be to cube both sides. So in doing so, now we have canceled out that radical. So we have 4x minus 3 equals 2x minus 9. And now again, simple linear equation. We're going to subtract 2x from both sides. So 4x minus 2x would be 2x. And then I'm going to add 3 to both sides to move it to the right. So negative 9 plus 3 would be negative 6. Dividing by 2 to get x alone, we'd have x equals negative 3. Now, we have to check it and make sure that this works. I know you're going to get tired of checking everyone, but the minute that you don't, you'll have an extraneous answer. So if we check this one, this would be the cube root of 4 times negative 3 minus 3 is supposed to equal the cube root of 2 times negative 3 minus 9. So here we have the cube root of 4 times negative 3 would be negative 12 minus 3 would be negative 15 equals. Here we would have the cube root of 2 times negative 3 would be negative 6, minus 9 is negative 15. Now those are identical, they are the same thing, and we can take the cube root of negative numbers. Remember, we can take odd roots of numbers, we just can't take even roots of negative numbers. So this checks, and that tells us then that negative 3 was in fact our answer.